Hello, this is Carl Hessian with XPM here to teach you about using attachments and the attachment macro in Atlassian Confluence. When on a Confluence page to which you want to attach something, the action button on the top right corner reveals a drop down menu where we can find attachments. Clicking on files then takes us to the menu where we can choose files and attach them to that page in Confluence. I'm going to attach multiple files, so I'm going to click on attach more files and then I'll attach multiple files at once. Once the attachments are on a page, then clicking on the properties button takes us to a menu where we can add extra information about the file. Adding a comment and a label can clarify an attachment's intended purpose and make it easier to locate with its label being a clickable link, like a hashtag. So for this office background image, I'm going to give it the comment, use this in online meetings, and I'm going to save that. And then on the label section, I am going to give this the label meetings. And then on the other image, which is a logo, I'm going to go to the properties for that. And I'm going to give it the comment, add this to emails in the email signature. And then I'll give it the label email. So then what that's going to do is that's going to tell everyone when they're looking at the attachments on this page uh, that this file is meant to be used as email and this is what you're supposed to do with it. This file is meant to be used for meetings and this is what you're supposed to do, do with it. Another confluence feature made for managing attachments is the attachments macro. When on a page and then on that page's edit screen, the plus button located at the top center of the screen is where we add macros to a page. Uh, the menu for macros is searchable because Confluence has many useful macros in Confluence. So we can type in attachments and that filters the list down to just what we need. And once we click on this, that adds the macro to where the cursor was on the page. And these attachments were already on the page, so they show up here. On the right-hand side of the macro uh, are, are our options for how we want to sort the information. I'm going to choose um, either by date, create date, size, or name. I will choose uh, sort by file name, and it updates as I make my selections. And then there's a link to Alaskan's documentation here that contains both basic directions for how to set up the macro and also some advanced recommendations for refining the display even further. Now that we have this set the way we want it to be, we can click on the publish button. And what that does is now the macro is on this page. And from here, we can add attachments in addition to the same spot before with the action menu and clicking on attachments and then files. But this effectively brings that menu to the front of the page. What may become a point of confusion is that attachments are only on the pages they are attached to. So particularly with the overview page, I'm going to make an attachments macro here and you will see once it's done, it's not going to show the attachments on every page down below because it's not an overview of everything uh, on the whole space. It's just going to show the attachments that are on this page. So it's important to keep in mind that attachments are only on the page that they are attached to. Um, this overview page will not show uh, all the attachments on every page. So in that sense, it is not a true overview page. It's just a page called overview. So just wanted to clarify that, uh, that any attachments you make uh, and put onto Confluence pages are just on that page and you have to click on that page to find them. I hope this has been helpful and you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.